Hey mates, you are at Tech Solutions YouTube channel. Do you want to install Dpin OS 20.4 with manual Linux partitioning on your PCs? It's quite interesting and learning at the same time. Let's do. You must be seeing Dpin OS 20.4 installer boot screen. To be reaching at this stage of installation you must have downloaded the Dpin bootable ISO image and boot from it. Let's start the installation. Boot with the first entry. The initial boot may take a while. You are now in Dpin installer. Let's quickly choose the locales and accept the licensing agreement. You must be seeing a suggest automatic partition scheme on your screens. Click on advanced option to do the manual disk partitions for this Dpin OS installation. You must be seeing we are on a 100 GB disk which is totally empty. Let's create our first partition. We are on a PC with BIOS mode and MBR partition table as required for this installation of Dpin to be successfully. This partition will be called a boot partition. Its location should be at start of the disk. It will be definitely a primary partition with at least 512 megabytes of size. Ext4 is good enough for this. Let's create our root partition now. Size it as per your requirement or you can go with our proportion. Third partition will be home partition. This will be used for storing user data on your dpin in a spur8 partition. Rest follow the steps as shown for partition type, location, file system and mount point. The last partition will be a swap partition. You size it as per your physical RAM. Its file system will be Linux swap. That's all to do for the partitioning segment of Dpin OS. Click continue to start the installation. It's done. Dpin OS 20.4 is successfully installed. We must reboot the system to start using it. Let's configure Dpin. Choose your language, keyboard layout and time zone. Create a user along with a password and name your computer as well. The D-PIN will tune your system as per your applied settings. Log in with your created account and password. D-PIN is there for you. It's one of the most beautiful Linux distro in Linux world. Anything to ask? Comment it. Thanks for watching. Good day.